Hi guys, it's Alston. In this video, we are going to learn about WooFunnels. In this video, I'm going to explain you what it is and why you might need this. And I'm going to show and showcase all the features and functionalities of the WooFunnels. And I'm going to practically show you how you can use that to build all the different pages within the WooFunnels and all the settings and customizations options which is available for you. Uh, important points first this video can be long because I want to explain all the uh, important functionality in depth uh, at the same time keep it in a shorter time frame also but if you feel the video is too long I will make sure to include jump points within the video description so if you are only interested on on certain particular sections feel free to use the jump points and follow along with me. And also one more important thing, I created a demo site for this funnel. So if you want to personally test it also, I have given the link in the video description. I ask you guys to test it out and so far around 50 people have tested it. So thank you so much for that. So I'm going to showcase that funnel which I've created as a demo use case example to explain you and make you understand what is this plugin all the important features is and you can test it out your personally also within whatever the devices you want and one more thing I forgot to uh, spend, uh, implement this funnel in one of my main site instead I opted to test it on a demo server in a testing website due to that that hosting is currently on a low end so if you experience any speed issues or something like that or if your emails is not delivering properly i want to apologize for that sorry that uh, i need, should have opt uh, added this on a much more stable server but that speed uh, problem issues is not due to the plugin problem it is due to my web hosting just want to clear the air and so far people have been giving all sort of feedback in our group so made wanted to mention that and also one last thing is that in this video i'm not going to talk about autonomy which is another add-on features on top of woofunnels because i sense that woofunnels itself when i try to explain it the video is going to be too long and these are offering two completely different uh, feature set so what i will do is i will try to create a next video as an autonomy video explaining all this and follow up that video with comparing woofunnels with its competitors and all this will be done from a beginner perspective where most of you guys also will be beginner because uh, funnels is not my strong suit and just learning and I'm going to share how a beginner can see all these things and how he feels about it and how easy to get started doing it okay those are the important thing now let's directly jump into the video first what is WooFunnels WooFunnels is a WordPress based uh, solution which works with WooCommerce platform which helps you to create funnels or a selling cycle where you can sell your products or digital goods uh, digital uh, services in an effective manner where you can effectively use all the buying cycle and all the conversation optimized flow in order to get the much more conversation rate the main reason most people offer a funnel instead of a default checkout is a funnel where you can try to understand the customer and even if the customer is only willing to come uh, to your website to purchase one single particular product a well-built funnel can make the uh, purchases to buy much more uh, product uh, products or can buy much more in items and move forward and also it can increase the conversation rates also the main advantages of something with WooFunnels is where you don't need any separate uh, services, third party application or anything like that. You can create this entire panel, uh, funnel within your website itself and you have the total control over it. And it will work with any payment gateway since this is based out of on Woo, uh, WooCommerce. So any payment gateway supported in WooCommerce, any products you added in your WooCommerce database, it will automatically work with something like WooFunnels. So that is the main idea behind the funnels uh, with WooFunnels. So what kind of pages you can create with uh, WooFunnels? There are several important feature pages are available within the WooCommerce. First one, you can create opt-in pages where you can collect leads from the users and you can create opt-in confirmation pages where you confirm the, that you have gathered your lead and give sort of like a thank you page for the email opt-in. 
can create sales or landing page usually this is the page which contain most amount of information and the first page people land as soon as you enter into your website or you use it in an advertising campaign you can create a uh, checkout pages uh, where you can add a a much more user friendly and conversation optimized checkout pages you can create order bump order bump is something like where you give an additional uh, choice for the user in your checkout place does a, do you want to add this also this is also a great way to improve the conversations for your products uh, one click upsells and downsells like if they purchased i want to give them the offer to purchase this product if they refuse to purchase and say that they are not interested then i want to give a downgraded option of a purchase option so those kind of options and finally thank you pages where the final confirmation page with all the order details in this video i will explain each single one of this in detail before going into that there are important two things first uh, there is uh, only currently support for page builder uh, Elementor and Divi and their own customizer uh, form. But if you are wanting to use Gutenberg, uh, Beaver Builder or anything like that, currently there is no support for it. But they are saying it's coming in future. But as of now, you can design in the just having a customizer or using Elementor or Divi. Only those three options are available. And the important thing I want to mention it, guys, because uh, I know that I'm creating a video, I tend to miss out something. Their documentation is very, very in depth. So if you are feeling any problems, if you're looking into any solutions, for example, in just for the checkout pages, they have over 155 articles. If you go into that, you can see all the uh, guides, in simple options, fixing all the problems. So it's very, very in depth. So if I miss it or if you require more information, I highly recommend you guys to check out their documentation. I will leave the link. Okay, I think I have gone uh, much give you a lot of introduction. Now let's jump into the actual dashboard. Uh, this is the dashboard of a test site which I set up just today morning and ask you guys to test it out for me. And so far you can see I have had over 42 different customers, number of total orders, revenue generated. Basically, I'm currently in WooFunnels dashboard. This is the overview screen for the WooFunnels, similar to something which you get on WooCommerce, where here it gives more details compared to WooCommerce dashboard. As you can see, it shows the total revenue, it shows the average uh, revenue per contact, it shows the leaderboard, uh, leaderboard of which campaign or which funnel which I've created generates more revenue for me. It shows the total uh, top opt-in like email lead capture forms which I have included which is converting a lot for me and it's also showing the top checkout pages. This is really good if you want to A-B test all the product. You want to test out your funnels to see what is the conversation rates like, what are the important things uh, happening, like what is the revenue it's generating. So it's give you an eagle view on all the different sections within your funnels. And also you can see the recent activities also like what is happening currently as of now. You can see in the dashboard and you can filter dates also here. Uh, these two are important where funnels and optimization is where you for the woo funnels you will be working fully on funnels for the autonomy uh, version of the uh, plugin add-on you will be working on optimization before i go into that let us quickly look into this overall global settings which is available within the WooFunnel website. Uh, these are the overall settings first you have the control over the uh, default permalinks for all the different pages uh, like sales pages opt-in all the funnel pages you create uh, and you can also include a uh, facebook pixel for retargeting your visitors google analytic is available google ads uh, pinterest and all the default builder this is what uh, do you want to set a default builder and it gives you an option for that for you can to work with it sales page is where if you want to custom css sales page you can do that from here uh, opt-in pages uh, global settings contains like what is the from name you want to go out what is the from address replay to address so if you want to have a different replay to address you can do that spam protection whether do you want to enable uh, 
in your opt-in form a uh, reCAPTCHA uh, to a uh, version to uh, reCAPTCHA if you want just click on yes and provide the side key and you are good to go custom CSS options also available and finally external JavaScripts usually which you get for embedding within your uh, final page could be chat scripts or any other lead generation or social proof widgets uh, usually can provide these things check out pages where in case if you don't uh, want your traditional woocommerce checkout page but you want to implement this woofunnels checkout which is optimized for conversation which you can do by clicking on checkout page and save setting now it will replace with the default one address auto complete is where if you want to provide a features to your user where you want to give them as they type in to identify their address based off of in google database you can do that you can see how to get your google map api key from here and custom css for your checkouts page external scripts and advanced also available you can see uh, different options are available for setting shipping method price and everything order bump you have the custom css and a miscellaneous like number of order bumps to show one click uh, upsells it shows what are the payment gateway it's enabled for the one click upsells i have personally to, to simplify this experience i have only selected cash on delivery so i can skip out on the payment detail so based on that you can set up you can see how to enable all the different ones here and it gives you come some more different options also for you to test our for advanced statuses you can see order statuses uh, how you want to set it for the upsell confirmation like when you want to send the confirmation email external script <coughs> and also offer confirmation and also you can see different color options also available for the global and miscellaneous shipping and what are the meta key to improve this i haven't tested it out of so these are the options which is available for one click upsells and thank you page finally gives you a custom css and external script all this can be individually customized within each of the funnels we are going to create but they do give all this option in a global way also for you to manage all your funnels within your product okay so that is the overall settings page which is currently available now let me go into the funnels page so i can give you cl uh, clearly each step of the funnel to give you a better understanding before going forward uh, just an overview with the funnels uh, you have the option to create uh, add a new funnel or you can import an existing built funnel for example i can export this in a json format and you can we can import it back from another site or anything like that and bring it to your ear for example if i click on add new it will present me with two different options first uh, for example as soon as i clicked on it now i can create a brand new funnels without any imported steps or i can choose any built-in templates and i can build up on it this is really uh, interesting for user for example sometimes some user want to build everything from the scratch or some user will try to gather uh, some idea inspiration and build upon it so this is how it is presented and you can see they have two different uh, support for page builder Currently, it's Elementor or DB or custom where you can create everything from scratch. But you don't get the imported uh, templates with the custom page builder. That's what I was mentioning uh, earlier. And Elementor, if you see, currently it's showing all the different templates. But if I want to see only specific templates for opt-in, I choose this. And it, this shows all the different templates which are currently built in within uh, this for the opt-in specific pages and sales is like our uh, the selling process now i can uh, view the preview also for example i'm in here i like this template but i want to see the preview on what it looks like and i can decide whether this is something i want i want to change it up uh, once i clicked on it i get a nice uh, preview like this nothing is installed and you get to see what it looks like and we can see uh, in different uh, this device is also how it will look like for example this is how it will look like on tablet and if i click on this it will show me how it will look like on a mobile device and also if i go into the all the steps it will show all the pages which is currently available within this particular uh, template for example it has one opt-in 
and one thank you page. So if I want to preview the thank you page, I can do that toss. So once the user has submitted the opt-in, they will be redirected to this particular page. You can change pretty much any elements within this once you selected it. So they like that you have option to all the different uh, option. For example, let me quickly give you a preview of one of the sales page uh, opt-in also, which is currently available for you. Similar like that with the opt-in, you have the option to view it in all the different devices. And if you go into all steps, now you see a lot of different template uh, option, uh, the stages available. For example, you have a template for checkout pages. Let me preview that. And you do, uh, once I clicked on the checkout preview, now it will show you how this checkout page will look like, what kind of uh, options are available for you to edit. You can pretty much edit any of the elements here. And also you can edit the form, fields, uh, text, all these also available. And if I go into the upsell, now I can preview the templates, upsell template currently how it's available. You can see this is how the upsell will look like. And for this is a sh custom short code name where when we use this, uh, I'll show you the example. It will automatically replace us with the customer name. It is the upsell uh, template and landing page is the initial one which we saw. And also a final thank you page with the order confirmation. Like that for each of this template as different style uh, is implemented. I probably would love to see much more templates also but we have the full control to edit this stuff or create everything on their own itself and if we go to the DV all these things are built on DV also with the DV page builder compared to Elementor so you can choose whichever the one you want and one more thing I would like to say is Gutenberg in future and you can see this is the final confirmed order page which is currently available so that is how uh, imported uh, document will work like uh, let me go into the funnels and let me show you the example from the existing funnel which I've created it. First, let me go through this opt-in uh, funnel which I've created since it's much more easier to explain. There is no complicated steps involved. You can see I have created a test campaign and within that I have two different steps. One is the opt-in page itself. Second one is the opt-in page. Thank you. Now I can even if I want another step also, I can add another step. For example, I have the option to create another opt-in page, another opt-in confirmation page, sales page, checkout page, upsells, thank you pages. If you want, you can create it. For example, now all the steps are visible here. If I go into the contact section of this page, now I can see all the contact details which I have received for this testing campaign, which I've tested up uh, today, which I set up today. But in real life, this will be your customer's data. For example, what is the email they have used in this? What is the uh, step they completed? You won't see any light here because in this funnel, we don't have checkout page, bump page or upsell page, just to opt in page is available. So it shows whether they have actually given their details and submitted all the details. And if I click on the name, it will show me more details from that particular person. Like uh, what is the contact ID when it was created? Created, what is the when is the last time it was done all these details are showing here and if I go into the analytics now we can get in a uh, data analytic specific for this particular funnel for example it shows uh, I got 57 visitors out of that there is no orders because in this funnel there is no selling involved but it shows uh, like what how much it's growing total number of users with the conversation what is the conversation rate look like what is the con views and conversation rate within the opt-in thank you page it shows a quick overview data also and we can reset it also if you want and setting is where you can set up different tracking ids uh, compared to this. So if you are using Google Analytic or Google Tag Manager to mo monitor goals of your conversation, you can do that from here. So let me go back to the steps. Now let me show you what are the options you have available for opt-in page. Now I'm just going to click on edit, but you can just create new also choose imported or something. Once you cre uh, create a opt-in page, now you have the an option. For example, I have chosen this particular template and I have edited it. For example, uh, if I click on the edit button now, 
it will load up this particular opt-in page in an elementor based page builder setup where i can now start adding my opt-in page to my personal liking for example and also i will have the option to use all this personalization short code also in my development uh, page building and you can see it is pretty much elemented now uh, there is no complexity involved this is a landing page if i click on the button you can see let me click on it uh, the button uh, i can see all the text are editable change form button link pop up all these things are showing here and i can edit the text uh, uh, text so you can change all the elements within this page it's just like building your templates based on that and make sure that you link out these pages you can create it using a uh, element uh, for example to import certain elements within your structure create new structure basically a page builder on top of the funnel page so let me close out of this and you can see this is the additional options which is available for you to personalize the page better and also now uh, i forgot to show something we are this let me open it this in a preview so I, this will be much more easier to use show it and let me edit it also uh, first this is how it will look like for the user where when they click it's currently on a pop-up based uh, funnel builder where it's automatically fills in my name and email if it's remember the history on or if I already logged into the system it will remember these details or we can make it uh, for the new user uh, if I go into the opt-in page itself to building out and uh, let me wait to, to load this there are two options available for you one you can use the pop-up based builder where when you click a button it will pop up the lead form or you can have an embedded option for example if i go here and now you can see it's a edit opt-in pop-up if i scroll down here let me go down now you have the option uh, to have an opt-in form also if you want for example if i drag and drop this now rather than the button i have a built-in inbuilt uh, form where i can customize this also according to my way and i can delete this now it will be based on the in embedded form option just wanted to show that it's not just pop-up it, you can have an embed option also if i go into the form section of this uh, particular opt-in page now i have the control of all the fields which is currently available within this particular product for example now i am only collecting first name and email if i want to collect other details also i can do it from here or if i want to add a completely new field for for my form i can do that and i can select the text uh, type and what is the label i can give a place order and add it to the form itself and customize is option where i can start customizing my opt-in pages with several other additional functions for example customization option is using element widget and it's uh, showing me the element page but if i chosen something customizer within the product rather than a separate page builder it will be giving me options on that actions is where if i go into the actions uh, you will get a uh, much more control on what to do next after the after the form is submitted for example once the form is submitted do you want to send a notification email to the user who submitted the form if i click on yes it will send this particular email to that f person for submitting this particular form you can see uh, it's showing an i and it's using a custom short code you can design the form the way you want if you built it out in a html based then you can come here and choose text and you paste your HTML template here so it will look really nice rather than just a blank text message and you can choose whatever the text you want you can also test it yourself also in this case I'm just going to keep this as it is and admin notification if you whenever uh, you get a new opt-in lead do you want an admin notification if you want you can use that here also for example let me click on save and crm is option where whenever a new opt-in is created do you want to send that to a different services for example active campaign drip convert kit infusion soft 
मेल चिम और मैड मिनी और रॉ एच टी एम एल वे आर यू पेस्ट एम बट कोड एंड यू स्टार्ट मैपिंग द फील्ड टू इच ऑफ दिस फॉर्म फील्ड एंड यू कैन डिरेक्टली इंटेग्रेट दैट विद दिस प्रोडक्ट सो दो ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव दे डू हैव अ नेटिव सपोर्ट विद लर्न डैश ऑल्सो सो इफ यू हैव यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल द प्लग इन फर्स्ट देन यू हैव द इंटेग्रेशन एनेबल विद दैट ऑल्सो इफ आई गो इन टू now i get to control all the settings such as validation whether do you want to show validation messages to this particular form uh, custom direction once the a page is completed do i want to send them to a custom page rather than the funnel script qualification or custom css and external scripts also available so this is the opt in page pretty much most of the options we see will be available for the thank you page just the minus the part on the form building or the stuff it will be just for example you can edit the uh, template here just like we did for this uh, opt in pages you can edit and it will open up in the elementor page builder and you can start working on it and if i go into the settings pages now i have the custom direction custom css and custom scripts so that is how the funnel of a sample two step uh, process of a test opt in pages so this is how it will work for example i open up this uh, page and i create uh, click on this i give a name let's say for example alston and give a name and if i click on sign up it will automatically record this data and it will redirect me to the thank you page but remember this just a basic one you can have any number of steps you want and if i go into the contact now i should see my name which i have just entered and it shows the data on when i did it and if i click on here it will be give me more depth on when i did what process so that is how a uh, email opt in campaign works like now let's go into a much more in depth example of a sales opt in page for example in this funnel page you can see i have created a text uh, test campaign on sales now you can see my funnel steps here i have created a landing pages or sales pages i have created a checkout page with order bumps and i have also created upsells and finally a thank you page and this is also uh, i have created and made it public so you guys have been testing the product we can see the data of the customers which i am receiving and you can see how many number of people uh, opted for the opt in and number of checkout whether this was declined or not all these thing for example this if this person uh, declined the bump order and also declined the upsell and what was his total spend so like that we can get a quick overview on the, all the details and if we click on details click here or in there we can see a uh, much more like a navigational view of what happened and what time did it happen what was the value of that particular offer and whether it was completed or not so those kind of data can be seen within the contact form itself contacts page itself and if i go into the analytics now we can use this uh, sales analytics and everything for example it shows the total number of visitors i got based out of uh, out of that how many orders did i get and what was the total revenue and revenue per visit also counted and it shows me which was the page which got viewed most what was the conversation rate look like what are the different pages like for example checkout pages what was the conversation rate what is the conversation flow the bump of for which i have created what was the conversation for different upsell for example i have two different upsells and one down sales so it shows the different percentage on conversation rate for that and finally the visitors who actually visited the contact page finally so we can see all the data here itself from the analytic pretty same to email opt in all these things and if i go into the settings i can have a custom tracking id if i want from here let me go back to the steps so i can go one by one first it, uh, let's take a look into the landing page basically this is your main page uh, if you prefer to not to show your checkout page within the landing page rather just a link or button this is where you design it i have chosen a pre built one but you can edit this or you can remove this and start creating blank from it and you can see this is the next link if i want to create in a custom builder that is completely fine as long as i 
give this particular URL into the button or the link uh, which I want to move forward. For example, in this case, I'm going to pre uh, edit this uh, option and I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, let me wait for it to open and this is the preview for example this is a template uh, demo i created it uh, you are not restricted to it but the their demo is actually quite nice most of the time and you want if you want you can create customize it create using different solution all you need to make sure that whatever the call to action which you are going to use you make sure to use this particular id so it will know what step in the funnel it should uh, trigger next so this is important so that is what happening here you choose and you build it out using template scratch or whatever your favorite builder and you have the option for this so that is the landing page nothing complex there everything cosmetics with landing pages visual design and if i go back into the sales campaign now the next page is the checkout page this is important first let me show you the checkout page then i'll talk about the order bump if i go into the checkout page and click on edit now i see all the options which i have for the checkout first uh, i have the option to edit it directly let me do that and also if i go into the products tab uh, this is design now i'm going to in the products tab and inside the products tab now i can see what are the products which i have added for this particular checkout page for example if i only want to sell one product I can delete all others but if I want to sell uh, multiple products within this funnel then I can do that also option here for example in, if you notice this uh, I have using several different uh, examples here one I'm using a default simple here and if you notice this this is a discounted product where I already have a discount pre-applied to that product so it will be showing a discounted product and I have added another product which is a variable product where various options are available within the products itself and if you want to add a new product also just click on add a product choose uh, the product uh, name just type couple of uh, letters and it will automatically bring up all the different products within which is available within this funnel and all you need to do is click on something which you like and click on add a product and it will be automatically added within the product and you have the control to set a discount here you can set up a quantity here and also if you go down you can have different option for example restrict buyers to select only one of the above products so if they want you want them to choose only one of these three or whatever the number of product you can do that or allow the buyers to select any product combination when selecting multiple product or force sell all of the above product like in a bundle so these options are available for you under the settings option and if I go into the field, now I can customize all the different fields within this particular checkout page. For example, I can have a two step uh, checkout page rather than asking all the checkout details for the customer within one page. First, you can see within step one, I'm collecting email, first name, last name. So I'm getting the opt in details. Then on the second section, I'm asking the shipping or billing address. If I want to add more section within the first step itself, I can do that. Or if I want to have this a step as the first page and in second stage, uh, I'm collecting the shipping methods, products, order summary, all these things like that. If you want to keep on creating steps, you can do that. You can keep on adding sections from here. For example, you give a section name, subheading and set up a class for CSS styling. And you can select all the fields which is which is available here and you can select on it. And if you want, you can add a new field also from here. These are the options which is available for you. So that is the field section. If I go into the optimization and let me also keep a viewed option also. Uh, here in optimization, there is a couple more features available for me. First, whether do I want to enable Google address auto completion where as soon as users start to type the, the address, do you want to automatically suggest the address based on Google database? Uh, you have to set the global uh, map API from your settings page. 
uh, auto apply coupon uh, display coupon field is option is available smart button if you are using this specific uh, payment options you have a smart express checkout payment option also available do you want to enable it or not multi field preview what are the options available preferred countries if you want to uh, restrict those you can do that time checkout all these things are available pre-fill if the form is coming back from abandoned user do you want to keep the data pre-filled uh, auto fill state uh, from zip code country and also generate uh, url to populate so these options also available for you for example if i go into the finally the settings page before showing guys an example data basically you have the tracking option custom script and custom css nothing special there but if i go into this now this is where the all the important one available for example if i scroll through the element and go bottom i should two different uh, section which is the mini card for example let me click on here uh, not there uh, i have the checkout form and if i click on i have the edit minute card these are the two important models for your checkout where checkout form will contain all the data which is gathering and you can see uh, do you do i want to enable steps within the checkout pages itself i can do that like choosing showing me how i want to do it first this and second that and also i can change all the text uh, on this for example if i want to something edit for example let me say rather than products services i can do that and you we can also customize all the different uh, fields on whether do i want in a full scale or like off um, and also shipping details also when i gather that product what kind of data i want payment gateway information almost all the text are customizable here and collapsible order like what are the fields i want to show and not only that you are pretty much uh, open for all the customization within the element of from a design and colors perspective for example you can change colors for the steps you can change colors and style option for the heading all the section buttons everything is customizable from here for example i don't like the way the button looks like i can easily start and change the colors to the way i want so pretty much element based just use this model and you will be fine with it and if i go into the uh, checkout uh, card page uh, let me see edit mini card and also now i have the option for do i want to show images or not i can disable it if i want if i want to show i can do do i want to show the quantity switcher or this option do i want to allow deletes options coupon do i want to enable it or not and pretty much styling options also available for this so this is your checkout page you can just these are the two important one for this funnel but you can keep on building sections the way you want like testimonials or reviews all this all this will increase the conversation rate factor and since it's elementor based if you have a custom elementor template also you can import this uh, template here and you just embed these two sections and you are will be good to go so that is how it will look like and this is will be the preview i'll finally show you a preview of that campaign once i've completed all the other sections of this funnel also uh, let me go back now we have seen checkout now let's see the order bump uh, it's easy to create an order bump where uh, once you created a checkout page you have this option when you click on it it will ask you to give a name and automatically a order bump is created you can create how many as you want the order bump uh, let me edit the order bump which i've already created for example it is also really simple first you have the rules for currently i haven't set up any rules just for the testing purposes but if i want to show this order bump in a specific uh, case I can add the rule for example based on card total subtotal number of items all these options are available for you based on that you can make uh, decide whether do you want to enable it or not if you want to have multiple rules also you can do to by choosing and uh, create multiple rules so you can create a much more detail and also if you want to create a all based uh, rule for example I want this to be a uh, correct for example card total uh, it's equal or greater than or less than or equal and I can decide this and I can say at the same time 
or this should be present so i can make rules based on like that now let me go into the products product is where you choose the product which you want to uh, show it in this uh, bump page for example i can add a product just like the wait for checkout just type it it will bring up any products which is available on the woocommerce database based on that you can add your own product and also you can see uh, you can set up the discount quantity everything from here if i go into the design section now it will show me all the different style which they have already pre-built but you can customize it for example all these four options are available and i can change the content for example what is the text i want to change here what is the change? for example i'm using a short code where it automatically grabs the description from the root product within the uh, woocommerce i can do that i can disable it and those options are available here and if i go into the styles now i have the options to customize all the colors which is available here so the first one is the skin second one is the content within the uh, product bump the third section is the style where you control all the styles like font size uh, colors product image border padding background all these options are available for you so that is the design settings and if i go into the settings you will see similar settings uh, for as you see for the sales page but uh, here you can set up priority if you have multiple uh, bump you can set up priority so you can will be used in displaying it and if i go into the positioning i have the control on where should i want to display this particular product bump below the payment gateway above the payment gateway below the order summary above the order summary all these options are available so now let's see how the bump will look like uh, i wanted to show the example in case i forgot it later uh, now i'm going into the checkout page here and inside the checkout page I have implemented two step uh, form so uh, the pre-built is filled once filled you can see here the bump which I have just created now is available for it the user just need to tick this option and it will be automatically include uh, into our order for example you can see that is how easy it is to create a bump and edit also and you can create multiple bumps also for your checkout page now let's see how you can control and create a uh, one click up sales or down sales this is really easy for example you can click on add new steps and click on one click up sales and you just give your name for example uh, let me see you click on here and give it name test up sale and if you want clone that is also a possibility and once i clicked on it now you can see that option is available so that is how easy to create a upsell and start customizing it now i'll show you this particular upsell which i have created for it this is really important one where for example you can see it is much more complicated than the previous one which we are showing you have the de default rule set which i explained for my other checkout page uh, order bump that's rule set is pretty similar you can choose the conditions on based on what is the product category and you can have a and or all product rules if you want that is possible and if i go into the offers now i see all the up sales or down sales offers which i have for example can see i have two different upsells and i have one down sale and if i want to add a new offer also i can create a new upsell and i can select a type for example do i want this to be an upsell or do i want this to be a down sale only when i want to sh uh, show it when it's declined or when i want to show it when it's uh, approved uh, accepted for example the first upsell offer i have created one product if i want to create more product that is also a possibility i can do that you are just in this section you are just adding all the upsell uh, products don't worry about the designing here it's just products and you have the option uh, much more option for example dynamic shipping or on acceptance where do you want to redirect them one on rejection where do you want to redirect them ask confirmation skip offer if the offer is whatever the offer we have created upsell that product is it already in the checkout page on the previous card then skip this or we have the option to do that add a tracking code quantity selector and terminate funnel if this offer is accepted that option is also available so based on your need you can set up that and you can see similarly i have down set up two different upsells 
and one down save. If I go into the design tab now, now I can control the look and the feel of each of this uh, down sale. For example, here I am using a different template and for this I'm using a different template. For this I'm using a different table. You can use one template also if you want. But if you want to use multiple different templates, that option is also available. Okay, now in this section, if I want to change the design, what I need, can do is I can come into any section I want to test it. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this. Uh, if I want to do it, I'm going to click on remove and remove my existing template which is I have applied to for you and now I can create from scratch or either I can use all the other different pre-built stuff which is available for me. For example, for Elementor, these options are available. For the customizer default, it's available these option. If I go into DB, these options are available. So I choose one which I like. For example, in this case, let's say I like this offer. I can preview this if I want. For example, uh, this will show you a quick preview on how it will look like and I can import it. And once I imported it, now whatever the products details which I've selected will be applied to this template. For example, now when I go and click on edit, now it will show me all the details such as uh, just the page builder with this particular uh, M option embedded within the page builder. For example, you have the control over all the images, text, everything is same. If I scroll down, now we will find some specific page uh, elements for WooFunnel. For example, accept button. Yeah? If I go, this is my accept button, which is already built in. But if I want to create it from scratch, I can use that accept button, reject button or accept link, reject link, variation selector, quantity selector, offer price, product images. These are dynamic elements, which is important for the funnel. So if you want, you can use this and you can see I have uh, reject link also here so based on your need you can customize it for you the way you want from here so that is how the design aspect of it will work and if you go into the settings within the upsell now you have the upsell uh, settings option whether do you want to add the upsell order as a part of your main order or create a new order for the upsell if you want to show the prices with the text uh, or no priority confirmation messages when the order is added it will show our external tracking code this is how you create the upsells or downsells within woofunnels now let's take a look at the next one probably a uh, thank you page this is really really simple where if i go uh, into the edit section and now i have the option to create a thank you page with all the order confirmation i have the rules here also so in i want to show this thank you page only when these conditions are met then i can do this we have control over all of these different criteria and based on it we can trigger this thank you page and when i come into the design page also i can create a brand new design page if i want i can do i can personalize it i for example i let me remove this thank you page template and now i have the option to create various other option on whatever the one i want let's say for example i want to preview this i can create a custom one also i have been saying all these things from the scratch and i really like this so i'll just import this one so let me go down and click on import and now this uh thank you page will be applied for you i can edit any text i want for example clicking on edit and let me also open the settings page while that loads and setting option, we have the custom redirection, custom CSS and external script. And if I go into the thank you page now, uh, I can pretty much edit any text. Uh, I can do the customization. If I scroll down, you can see there is only uh, going back uh, and down with the uh, components. And you can use any changes here like colors, settings, for example, background, just any setup stuff and based on that you can change it and you can use this uh, custom short names uh, to personalize according to the order you receive so that is how easy to create different funnel pages now let me show you an, an example on how this will look like in a real life for example i have a landing page i have a checkout page i have a order bumps i have upsells with two upsells and one downsell and a finally a thank you page 
now I am in my landing pages and I'm going to click on this button first to get the opt-in and move forward I have already subscribed to it and if I come here the checkout page is now triggered and I'm submitting all the data it's already filled in we can edit all this we want when I go into the next stage now I have uh, it's showing me all the different products which I've configured with the within the checkout pages for example if I go into the products I have five different uh, no four different products two simple products and one product with a pre-built uh, built in discount and one variable product so if I go down you can see it shows the two simple products I can choose and also it shows that it's already a discount product with the option to view the product directly so the third one you have the option for the variable option now when for example we click on the choose an option it's asking for us to choose the option we are presented with a pop-up where we can choose whichever the option we want and based on that it's add to cart now it will select the order based out of on the variation we picked so that is how this checkout process works like and if i if you note remember that we also do have a order bump created for this checkout if i scroll down the placement should be above the button on the payment information and it can see it's only giving me payment on cash delivery because that is the only option i have enabled but if you have enabled others it will show all the data there and shipping data will also show but i have not implemented it so that is the reason it's not showing and order bump as we created it's given me an option and if i click on that now this order bump will also be added to my cart for example you have done now it will proceed to my upsells where I have created two different upsells and one down sales. So for example, I have presented with my first upsell and for first I can accept this or I can ignore this. In this case, I'm going to accept it and based on my decision, it's going to move forward. And now I'm presented with the next upsell and based on my details which i provided it automatically customizing me all the options and in this case let's say for example i don't want this upsell i can skip this and once i skipped now i have down sell i have rejected the downs uh, uh, the upsell which i've done and based on my rules on how i set up since i rejected it i want to directly go into the thank you page it's going forward so the option the configuration is all up to you on how you want to set up your upsells down sales all these options and finally you can see i have made it to the confirmation page where it shows congratulations your order is confirmed gives me an id email should be sent out to the customer and give me, me an order details and stuff and i can customize these pages also so if i go into the uh, dash uh, funnels now this data will also should be recorded and let me close out of this and go into the sales campaign contacts and it should show this order for example you can see i have put done the checkout purchase bump accepted upsell accepted and what is the total uh, order amount for example if i go into the view detail it's showing me these details and it will be recorded in the woocommerce section also so that is the basic who funnels walk through on all the funnel stages and everything i'm pretty sure i have missed so many stuff i will try to keep uh ask and uh, answering other questions and if you need arise i'll try to create a follow-up video on this if you have any questions or doubt feel free to ask me and if you want me to compare this with another product i'm looking into la uh, launch fun uh, launch flows now and if you have any other suggestions also if i have the experience i'll try to look into it and i will create a separate video for autonomy as well so once again thank you so much and if you have any question drop us or even join our group so we can discuss and you can share your honest opinion and feedback once again thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day cheers